What is up guys, Thaddeus here. Welcome to another Business with Thaddeus video on the Business Channel. It is cur It is literally currently 5 in the morning. It just turned 5 o'clock. I haven't slept yet guys and that's just like passion, passion bro, passion for what you do. But I want to talk about in this video guys, I'm going to upload in Fat Minute but I actually am starting daily videos guys. Like, like daily videos are going to start and I, oh my gosh, the things I have planned for you guys. Like one, Instagram funnel series. Two, I'm starting Amazon guys. I actually already got into that and I'm going to like be showing you guys my journey and results and blah blah blah. Blah, blah, blah. That's the thing got these different projects coming up the apps all this kind of good stuff to help you guys out and provide Like more value for you guys. Okay, cuz that, that's what we're doing But in this video guys, I want to talk about how to like stop losing potential customers Okay, and losing like these clients that, that you guys should be able to keep and then what you can do to prevent them from ditching and like all this kind of stuff. And what you can do to actually close clients and stop people from leaving your site Stop people from just not going to you or like get people to your site all this kind of stuff that should help you with your conversion with just like keeping your audience base because you spend so much time trying to get traffic to your site right and you don't want to just blow it all with like just having people bounce right that, that's not what you want so that's what we're gonna do in today's video guys first things first I do want to give a shout out to to my boy Kendall he's actually passed thirteen thousand dollars in orders guys for the month and I think he's already done like a few thousand dollar plus days so congrats Kendall you're the man I'm actually got like I think I'm gonna put him on for an interview and a few other guys for an interview just so like everyone else can see and just learn from everyone else who's like having success and stuff but guys that's from the course and uh, if you are interested in the deal I did extend the course sale from the whole Cyber Monday stuff until I think for the next three days I don't even know but you guys can click the link if the link doesn't work that means it's expired and you lost your chance alright but click down below if you want the 65% off deal um, if that's of interest to you if not that's cool whatever we want. but that's the video or that's not the video that's the uh, course plug and shout out to my boy Anthony with results guys if you have results from the course shoot them to me and I'll shout you out okay so that's the that's Let's just get into the video, all right? Sweet. All right, well, if you guys can't tell, I'm actually at the gas station, so that's why I wanted to film the video here, just like while my car is filling up, I can actually just go get gas. And so, that's what I'm about to do. It's quiet out here. Ooh, ooh, okay. I plugged in the gas. Hi. <laughs> He's waving, all right. I plugged in the, uh, the, the gas thing in here, and we got the freaking premium ass gas okay that's it i'm gonna go um fucking record the video hi all right guys so how how do you stop losing potential customers okay there's there's two different things we can look at okay how do you stop losing customers there's two types you can lose potential customers all right people that you never got their money you never convinced them um emotionally or logically whatever you never convinced them to hand you their money okay you you missed the opportunity okay and there's losing money on current customers where you can't get them back to your site because your brand the appeal just wasn't there anymore or you just weren't of interest anymore or just something along the process deterred them from ever wanting to buy from you again and th those are two problems that that I'm here to help try and solve for you guys or like what you can do to um, prevent the the loss or the you know the attrition that happens from you know getting these clients, like customers but not getting them to repeat or just getting this traffic and not getting them to convert and what you can do to stop that from happening. I want to talk about losing potential customers first because that's probably the most uh, the most popular one that like people are getting traffic they're not converting or people aren't getting traffic they don't know what to do they just aren't converting on their sites and they, they aren't doing a good job of keeping people on their site like their bounce rate is through the roof all this kind of stuff like what what can you do to prevent that? Okay, one, does your website like look like shit? Okay, I, I, I'm being dead ass, guys. Like, for real, a lot of people's sites just don't look good. Like, you, you, you look like a reseller of products, and that's not what you want, especially with dropshipping. Like, you are a reseller of products with dropshipping, but you don't want to give that vibe. Okay, you don't want that appeal uh, to, to, to come to the customer. Okay, you want to like appear as a brand, a quality, genuine, authentic, unique brand that has something of value to offer a customer. You don't want to be a reseller where they feel like, oh, I can find this anywhere else online and probably for cheaper or something like that, if, if that's if that's your value proposition. But like, that's the thing. You just don't want them to. You just don't want your website to look like bad where it just throws them off like that is rule number one like for me how I how I do my websites is one custom um, like simple simple modern clean and visual okay I think visual is one of the most important aspects guys. especially with my funnel and like how I like teach you guys I'm of course always plug but like what I do is as I have an Instagram funnel and Instagram is such a visual platform guys I say this in like all my videos because I want you guys to get that in your head Instagram is such a visual platform that you need to you need to adapt that methodology into your website you want your website to be super visual okay it's like it's like you send all that traffic from Instagram which is so visual to a website that's most Mostly like words and stuff like that and that's not gonna work you're gonna have a super super high bounce rate because people are going there and it feels foreign to them okay they don't know what to do and just from that alone can throw off hundreds hundreds of conversions and your bounce rate is 
already through the roof with that, okay? Uh, number two, like, does your site load fast, okay? I know this is, like, a weird one, guys, but some some people's sites, depending on how many, like, apps you have installed in some apps, slow down sites, like, more because, like, certain pop-ups and stuff need to, like, load first. But, guys, you don't need, like, 25 apps on, on, your, on your websites, okay? All my websites had less than 10. Most of them had less than 8 or 7, okay, for the most part. Now, you don't need a lot of apps, and what that does is, one, slow you down, and two, it, it, it would probably make your website cluttered if you have that many apps, okay? But, like, does your site load fast, okay? Like, for, for instance, like, people are impatient, right? I'm sure you're impatient. You want, like, for me, I try and cut to the chase with my videos and just, like, start dropping information, okay? Because people are impatient. They're going to leave my video if I'm not, like talking about shit okay now that's the same thing applies to your website okay if it doesn't load fast if if you just can't like if they can't find what they're looking for right away they're gonna leave okay they're gonna leave for a variety of reasons one if the site's slow as fuck two if they can't find what they want if the site looks bad again that goes back to the first reason but guys you're like your website is very 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 important third one do you have exit intent apps my battery's about to die Fuck. Do you have exit intent apps guys? I'm talking about like the privy email box for instance that one's the download link in description But literally those apps that like when a customer is moving their cursor on their desktop away to like about to leave your website A pop-up pops up. That's where you can offer them a very 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 large discount Okay, don't like necessarily try to make a lot of profit with this discount But you want to offer them something so that they're like they're like whoa that's a lot, and I should enter my email in, okay? One, you got their data, now you can retarget and stuff like that. Two, you might have just got them to purchase something, okay? You get their email and their email, that discount code for however much it is, like 35, 40% if you can, okay? Um, stuff like that, 30%, okay? Literally, like, you just want something that's big enough that they're just like, oh, snap. I, oh, shit. Like, there's... That's a deal, okay? I want, I want, I want to get that deal, okay? So that's that's what you kind of want to do with the exit intent apps. It's like, you, it's like, it's like your last ditch effort to acquire a customer or acquire some sort of information from that customer, so they don't leave forever, and you can't do much to actually get them back besides other retargeting campaigns. But if you have their email, which is even better, you can use email retargeting, which, in my opinion, has a lot more uh, value and money to be garnered over the, like the long period of time um, in terms of like Facebook uh, retargeting and whatnot. The next reason is you need to make your website personal, guys. Okay, and what that mean by that is like people don't buy they don't buy from from businesses and pages like website pages they buy from other people okay they buy from a feeling like they want to buy from someone they trust and th that's a person usually okay so you got to make your website feel like personal i'm not i'm not saying like use slang all the time like that that, that can work depending on your brand and whatnot but like you you want to just have it be like a personal website you don't want to seem like super foreign and and just out of place it's very kind of it's hard to explain this but i'm trying to like tell you guys like you need like people buy from people you need to get them to trust your 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 website and your page and how do you do that is by introducing you know the personal like like you're about like what's your story for your brand again you want to give life to your brand guys you're not just a reseller or selling product that's not going to work it's not that simple as much as we all wish it was it's usually not that simple so you need like to give life to your brand and sometimes oftentimes that means you need like an about us or what's your story what's your motive and you don't want to like milk that guys because sometimes people just don't care but you need to have some part there that that kind of encompasses is the vibe of your brand okay so that it feels personal it feels unique it feels genuine it feels authentic which all in all helps in the funnel of everything that helps convert now the next one guys is having social proof whether that be on social media on your website with like the FOMO and other like pop-up apps that show that other people are on your site or Herify again all these things are in the description but like you, you need social proof guys that, that helps build trust with other customers visiting your website okay and like whatever that is whether that is in the beginning of your funnel for driving traffic like in your Instagram page for instance do you have a lot of followers that kind of stuff is social proof like in the beginning of the funnel social proof on your website is having those pop-ups that say yo this guy just bought this product this guy just bought this product this guy just bought this product from over here like all that stuff builds social proof so that other webs uh, like other visitors on your site can hit your website and be like oh these guys just bought it I like it, it's safe to buy like they need to trust you guys they like uh, you're not gonna get sales if people don't trust you with their credit card information with their personal information with their personal hard-earned money Okay, you need to get people to trust you. All right, that was that was all about like potential customers, right? So people that you got to your website or you got to your to your Instagram page for instance Okay, and you just need to get them to convert or like try and help them convert now I want to talk about current customers So say you already got some people to purchase a product You already got some people to give you their credit card information their money. Okay, what can you do to get more money from them? All right to increase the lifetime value Value of that client of that customer okay one you can offer unique deals to customers okay so once they purchase maybe two weeks down the road a week down the road you're like hey 
thanks for purchasing this product. Um, we're going to give you a discount on these products or this product line or this category of products, all right? We're like, hey, you purchased this product before. We're having a summer sale. And because you've already purchased, I'm going to give you a bigger discount than everyone else. You want to make them feel special, guys. It's personal. It's building a brand. Like, hey, here's 35, here's 25% off this product. And you want to make sure, like, you tell them, like, hey, but all the, all the other customers only get 10% off. But because you already purchased with us, we're going to give you 25% off, you know, for the next four days. All right? That makes it personal. And that also is telling current customers, hey, I appreciate you for, like, per, like previously buying something from my website. And I want to show that appreciation by giving you a bigger discount on future purchases. All right? So that's one way to close clients that, that you already have like clothes. You want to make them feel like part of your community, all right? And I'm not saying like like make a giant group, okay? That's not like not. Ah, well, camera just died, but we're back. All right. So what I'm talking about is like you want to make them feel part of a community, guys. And what does that mean? So say after they purchase a product, right, and they order confirmation or something that follows up with that, you want to say, hey, thank you for you know purchasing or like not even started like that, but like, hey, welcome to the family, okay? Uh, thanks for purchasing. Here's a here's a, a discount code for um you know 15% off all products for the next week if you're interested or something like that right again you want to sh like make them feel part of a community or something and 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 monetize that or capitalize on it okay so you want to make them feel inclusive you want to give them updates on the community and that leads me to my next point as well where it's like you want to give them exclusive access okay not even just exclusive deals which we so like we just mentioned but like exclusive access so say say like in my course I talk about a product cycle like when to cycle out with different products and whatnot um, when you're like switching out categories and products all that all that kind of stuff but like when you're introducing new products products or new product line or new product category into your website give these customers like the first the first access or the first heads up about it okay you be like hey like in a newsletter hey we're dropping these products um in two days or we're dropping this product next week um stay tuned for it okay or you can even offer a discount like hey we're dropping these products in the next three days here's you know 30 percent off and like guys like that psychology those numbers and stuff like that hey three days in three days we're dropping this here's 30 percent off okay like stuff like that it's really weird it's like interesting psychology to study up on guys but like doing that guys like making them feel part of a community and then offering them exclusive access like making them feel special okay to your brand to your site you would just you want to have more than just a reselling drop shipping site you need to have a brand like give it life okay and that that's what you're doing with with all these tips and whatnot is is you're giving your your website just is more than just a website now it has a story it has a life to it and and people will like will see that and they'll, they'll, they'll build trust with that they'll have like some sort of connection with the site and they'll convert okay they'll give you their hard-earned money once you're able to like connect all the dots in their heads okay that's literally kind of like the mind game that, that you're doing with it okay but that's the video guys those are just a few super quick tips that i want to touch on to help you guys like like one get repeat customers to buy again two to stop losing potential customers and help them convert and like close on them okay but that's the video guys hope you guys enjoy i have a, i have a really big big video dropping i think like even like maybe later today or tomorrow something like that um about a software company that's been on the super 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 down down low okay like way down low but that video is gonna be dropping soon so keep an eye out for that guys i am gonna start an instagram series on youtube i am gonna start an amazon series on youtube i'm gonna start a bunch of these different series on youtube just to give more value for you guys and just expand not like not only my channel but just the value that i can drop and like help everyone else with um so that's the plan if you guys are interested in one-on-one -on -one mentorships link is in the description if you guys are interested in the course 65 percent off that link is in the description i think that expires in three more days uh, i literally got a bunch of emails from you guys like hey can you extend it i get paid like this friday can you extend it can you extend it so i did for all you guys that emailed and i mean if you didn't email you just still want it like it's down there um links for all that are in the description guys if you need a website design for you um i actually am building out an agency that i've like partnered with and whatnot um to actually make these websites for you guys that are super highly convertive and like we literally help out with the website design um so that you guys literally get websites that 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 you know like top top earners like us and all the whole squad that like use okay so that's cool something to stay interested in if you are part, like interested in the private mastermind you can apply down in the link description below i haven't even accepted the december applicants i'm probably gonna make it like december 15th to january 15th or something like that because i want to make sure all the pieces are in place to have a really really good mastermind okay and just stuff like that guys so if you are interested all the links are in the description below i will see you guys in the next video take care fam it is super early i'm actually you're gonna go check my gas because that should be done by now oh okay oh oh my god you gotta be fucking guys <laughs> i never uh, i never I, I i never started the gas so let's do that gee there we go there we go oh, but that is the video guys i hope you guys enjoy i will see you guys in the next one
take care guys peace